This is a, a bumper we have made. Style hose, the part number we give you. We'll get this done. Hi guys, this is Adam with Adrenaline Cycles again coming at you with a video today. We're doing a walk around on a custom build we did for a customer out of Tennessee. But before we get too much into that, uh, let me get you guys to hit the like and subscribe below so you can stay up to date with the channel and you know see all the cool stuff we're doing here at the shop. All right, guys, that was a quick walk around here. Let you guys see a little bit of everything, and then we'll go into a little detail here. We'll start from the front, work our way to the back, and let you guys check out this model um, that we've worked up here. It started out as a 2022 Can-Am Maverick X3 XRS RR, um, and it was the tan and like the carbon color, they call it. Uh, customer didn't want any tan on it. Um, he wanted to do a color swap, so we accommodated that. Um, he also didn't want any red on it, but on the seats, he didn't want any red arms, red springs, uh, the red, you know, accents that it had on here as far as being the tan, carbon, and red model. So we done away with all that, except the seats, and we did like the idea of keeping the seats to give it a really nice look, so we did keep the seats. But we'll start here at the front and talk over some of the, you know, options we put on this for the customer. Uh, obviously, very front end of this, it doesn't come with any type of bumper, being an XRS. So we put uh, you know our brand bumper on there that we have here. Outfitted with a 5,000 pound KFI winch. You guys know we use that all the time. It's just a really good winch, a, a great bargain for for what it is. On top of the bumper, you know, um, you just got to have the 10 inch light bar or a set of cubes. This is the Baja Designs Onyx 6. Um, works out really well. Mounts on the bumper. It looks really good. The bumper was actually built with that light bar in mind because the owner likes to run it. I like it. I had it on my uh, XMR, but I had it mounted to the grill. Um, so it works out really well and it gives the added protection to protect the radiator. And just the look of it looks really good. We'll reach on down in here a little bit. You'll see he's got silver springs on here. Those are IBOC stage 3 springs because we was adding a lot of weight to this machine. Um, so we had to add, uh, you know, some... You know some help to it we know the springs inherently aren't the best you know from can-am so we've done that we also put a arm guards on here he's looking for some of those to add a little protection and on the front we also went with a corbin customs ghost light kit here with the turn signal the horn you know so it can be street legal in tennessee so he wanted that and that's really a great look guys honestly um you know the factory one looks good but this ghost setup looks really really good i'll power it up so you guys can see that and then here's the turn signals you know changes all the way out so that's a really cool setup i mean i like it um it's not it's not necessary by no means but it does change the look and 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 to me this should have been like this ghosted frosted color from the factory but looks really cool um again the customers want street legal so we accommodated that um we'll take a second to look at the wheels and tires we got some maxis rockzillas on here and 32s on some 15 inch kmc's again kmc's is great wheel guys we like it so much because it has the the real close to factory offset so it doesn't get the machine much wider than what it already is it really probably adds maybe a half inch to each side so an inch overall but i mean it's as close as you're going to get to a factory offset wheel that actually looks really good looking here this is the super xl front extended fender flares the customer was digging on those um we haven't had a lot of experience with these we've done another buggy that the customer wanted them you know they look great I, i'll give you the, the look on them is really nice they'll work out really well and the only thing we're concerned with is really trail trail riding i don't know how good they will be here in you know the eastern you know united states mountains and woods because it 
you know they're just really rigid i don't know how well they'll hold up but they should be fine hopefully for this customer i don't foresee it being beat on a whole lot a uh, customer wanted a windshield so we went with uh, brp power flip and he opted for the wiper as well and that's probably the best way to go just get the wiper on it while you're while you're buying the windshield guys it it really is nice to have that wiper um and it just you know works out really really well reservoir tucks in between the tank or in between the shocks and uh, you know the only thing here on this guys if you're running like a ct gusset piece up here a shock tower bracket or a ca or any really any aftermarket one you really got to watch it because some of them will actually hit the tank and you can't get them off uh, I think for us, we use on the CT ones, we'll space it off and it lets us bend the neck better so you can get to it, but just be mindful of that. And that's on even the regular lower wiper as well. That tank goes in the same spot. Uh, coming down the sides, we'll show you upper doors. You got to have those when it gets cold out. Um, so he's got those. Again, we changed the, the decals here and put door handles in. You know, to give it that, you know, the style, the look uh, with this carbon black looks really, really good. Um, lower doors, audio roof, BRP audio roof, really, really nice top. Um, does well. R tree bars, got to have those. Uh, here on the back, you'll see again, we got the eye box springs, trail and arm guards, you know, obviously same wheel and tire setup. Customer went with the pivot rack. A uh, 12 gallon storage box up top, black cooler on bottom, and then he did go down here. We added some backup lights again, these are the Baja designs, uh, four inch cubes or three and a half. They're, they're somewhere in there, three and a half, I believe, is actually what they call them. Uh, he does have a backup camera, I'll show you guys more of that up front. Uh, stock rods in the back, like I said, this thing's probably going to be a road machine more than it is. Uh, you know beat on in the woods so there wasn't no need here to throw a bunch more cost at the customer to put stuff on here that at the end of the day he's not going to need and that's just something we do from the parts counter talking to the customer what they're going to do with the machine whether or not we advise them to spend the extra money you know on something that they he's not going to need i don't think um like i said he did have some whips he wanted those so we got them on there um, these are really nice. These are infinite off-road, um, lifetime warranty, and you know they're just you know really tough. Um, coming on in, you'll see we got the shocks turned to the inside as well. Like I said, the instructions in this, guys, I've said in other videos, tell you to roll them to the outside. You can roll them to the inside, and they will fit. Like I said, this has got the cooler in here, um, and 12-gallon box, and the hose sets here you know it, it just works guys don't let a dealer tell you it won't work it does absolutely we've done hundreds of them hundreds of them and never had an issue um, coming on around we got the rear fender flares on there and those are just the stock brp rears uh, we'll step inside and show you guys a little bit here this model like we said it's got the brp door openers um, we got our door shock door opener shocks whatever you want to call them um, they work out really well uh, super nice we got the door brp door mounted uh, door bag storage we know on these things is optimal to have so we put the lower door bags in um, and the reason we've done that is because with these door openers it doesn't work with the upper door bags guys so if you're buying these just know if you got an upper door bag it won't work um, because of the mounting location here back window we run the spike back windows they work out really really well and on this model with the rack you'll see we've had to cut to fit the pivot rack which the guys in the back the techs that do these day in and day out guys they know how to cut them i mean it looks factory it looks like it was bought that away probably be even hard for josh to see how good a cut they've done on that thing because it's up in there not noticeable of being modified and i just want to point that out that's again a lot of dealers say, oh, we can't put that on there with the rear window because it doesn't fit or whatever. Um, so we go ahead and, you know, we do the things that other dealers don't want to do. Um, if we told somebody no, it's probably two reasons. First off, it doesn't belong on a side-by-side. -side. <laughs> and second off, the it would no matter how you do it, it's going to look bad. And we don't want to put our name on something that looks bad. And, and people can say what they want. But, you know, I could crank out 100 
uh, you know, so-so buggies that everybody would be happy to have, or I can crank out 50 that everybody would love to have, and I'd shoot for that 50 number any day of the week, guys. Um, we do have the CB radio in here as well as the audio top, so we mounted the external speaker up here, and it is adjustable so we can hear that. Always got to have an air kit, especially being enclosed, like I said, um, that'll help out. Center bag storage. Um, Josh, you want to pan on in here, you'll see the backup camera here installed really nice the audio top with the Rockford Falls gate we'll pan on down here we got the tablet holder with the CB inside all hid nice and tucked up in there like we like to do um, works out really really good and we do our personal ones that away and, and had really good luck um, something we did do different on this guys in case you just don't know uh, switch space is really hard to come by in these things um, so with when we added winch we had a turn signal and horn and then over here we got uh, all the lights that he's got on the front back and everything extra um, he was running out of room and then obviously we still had the windshield the wiper and his whips to put on here so what we done is we actually designed and built this plate um, and we're going to start selling these this will let you put three more switches someone in the center and not down here low I can't stand this I, sometimes we have to do it but from riding year after year time after time I just I hate I hate switches right here it does really get on my nerves especially something like a wiper or a power flip or something like that that you'd be using I just hate it being not in my eyesight so pretty simple we got a nice plate here it's powder coated made out of aluminum and then we relocate the start switch over here you got plenty of wire and then we relocate the little desk fob up to the top here nice and out of the way so it all works it's all seamless um, it's just a super clean look uh, some guys might not even notice that that's the different but it really is it's in our guys again um, you would think it's factory really at the end of the day uh, customers also got heated seats in this thing I mean the guy really went uh, all out and it's got a really nice machine and I mean we was happy to do it for him he'd had uh, some other experiences with another dealer and uh, kind of got uh, the hint that he didn't want to be there and he come up and spoke with us and we helped him out and got uh, the buggy that he wanted you know um, fortunately the like I said the color wasn't what he wanted but we had some available and he actually you know said we'll just change it and he said I'm not married to the you know the color and I'm not married to you know not changing it so he allowed us to do that for him and I really everybody here is liking the carbon color I think this should have replaced the triple black for this year model I think just the the subtleness of it and the color looks really really good especially with the decals they're almost like ghost layered in really really nice look but that's it guys this is a 2022 XRS walk around that started out as a red and tan and carbon black buggy and like I said the customer wanted to change it up something a little different and we accommodated that and we think it turned out really good like I said guys if you have any questions about the stuff in the video comment down below and uh, we'll do our best to answer those. And as always, guys, while you're out in the trails, buckle up and be safe and enjoy it while you can be out there. And stay tuned for the next video that we'll have up. Start here at the front. This is a, a bumper we have made. Style hose, the part number we'll get this done.